The more I become myself, the more I disappear. No one has ever guessed that I'm gay. And sometimes, even when I tell people, when I step out of the closet, when I declare it defiantly to old friends or new strangers and say those three little words, I am gay, they don't believe me. In Joy Young's spoken word poem, The Queer Hokey Pokey, she describes it as being only contextually visible. But I think it goes beyond that. I've been assumed straight while in LGBT spaces, while wearing rainbow jewellery and pins, while kissing another woman, while telling people to their face that I am not what they assume me to be. Our visibility relies on the mercy of others. That assumption that I'm straight, that refusal to acknowledge my self-proclaimed identity, that erasure, is not a privilege. It's being scoffed at and laughed at when you step out of the closet for the hundredth time. It's femme women labelled as gal pals, not girlfriends, not lovers, but just friends. I'm assumed to be straight because of my hair, and my clothes, and my lips, and my eyes, and my body, and then by my voice, and my likes and dislikes. The idea that someone can be straight passing is tied intrinsically to the flawed idea of a gender binary. The idea that women are feminine, and men are masculine, and then the idea that queer women and men are inherently the opposite. Queer men are assumed to be feminine, and are criticised and joked about because of it, and queer women are assumed to be masculine, and then framed as undesirable or defective in some way. But because of these assumptions, queer people who happen to align with mainstream expectations of straight and cis identities are erased. It isn't worse than the social punishment that comes with being stereotypically gay, but it isn't better either. Harassment is so often about an obsession with the protection of masculinity. If you're butch, your harassment will come because you're encroaching on masculinity, a presentation that in the minds of those harassers is a protected and coveted presentation only for real men. And if you're femme, your harassment will come because those who don't have masculinity are less worthy of respect. Real women are not worthy of respect. Our identities happen to align with what is expected of us, and what is expected of them is to objectify and see us as lesser. This is then added to all the other ideas attached to femininity of silliness, vapidness, self-obsession, to justify our erasure. She's just confused. It's a phase. It's for attention. She doesn't know what she wants. Silly, silly woman. It's not a privilege to be unwillingly and constantly closeted against our will, and in doing so having to come out again and again and again to everyone from your new friends and colleagues to people in LGBTQ safe spaces to the guy who yells at you in the street to get your number, the guy who, after you politely explain your lack of interest, blocks your exit and protests, no, no way, like, you're not actually gay, not properly gay, whatever, it doesn't matter, I'll do your girlfriend too. Because when you're a woman who likes women, you're framed as a commodity to be consumed, living lesbian porn for straight men to be entitled to. According to a recent study, women who identify as femme or feminine and have a more feminine appearance report more adult sexual assaults than women in the study who identified as butch. If straight passing was really straight privilege, it would protect us from the experiences that non-passing queer people endure. But we aren't actually straight so it doesn't. Slurs are still about us, depression and suicide still affect us, we can't get married, donate blood or be open about our sexualities, we're still illegal, we're still under the death penalty in the same places. And this is just my story, a story of a queer identifying femme cis woman. The relationship with feminists, with being straight passing, is so complex and unique for so many people in the way it intersects with their identity. Gay men who are straight passing, trans women who are femme, non-binary people who are femme, bisexual people in male-female relationships. Feeling invisible and powerless within our own community is not a privilege. See us. Acknowledge us. Don't undermine us or our identity. And know our queer experience is valid.